Magazine. And tell me a little bit about those two broad themes. Good question. Well, if you look over any kind of reasonable period of time, the last 12 months, year to date, three years, five years, even 10 years, healthcare has either outperformed or performed at least in line with the broader markets for a number of reasons. But we think all of those reasons that have helped it outperform in the past are going to continue into the future. So we think it should be it should continue to be a good sector. Of course, the big question is Obamacare. Now, you actually think there are no losers. Well, there are some specific taxes that will be levied against specific companies in specific industries. So it's easy to kind of quantitatively say, look, company X is going to owe a tariff of Y dollars. But that doesn't mean that that company is then going to be secularly challenged going forward. So you like therapeutics. Give me we do. a couple of examples of companies that are working well and will work well in the future for investors. Within therapeutics, we always look, Rhonda, for companies that can meet an unmet medical need with a novel therapeutic. One such example is Gilead. Gilead, we've been long-standing large shareholders because they have become dominant in their HIV franchise. We believe that they're now entering Act Two with the ability to treat a heretofore poorly treated disease called hepatitis C. What other names? Well, within medical devices specifically, we believe uh, very strongly that Edwards Life Sciences is poised to really change that company's growth profile with, again, the introduction of a product that meets an unmet medical need. They have a product that's just coming to market in the United States that will allow the replacement of aortic heart valves without surgery.